Hi, good afternoon, it's Simon at Vans today in Worcester. I'm going to give you a quick video walk around of this 2017 on a 17 plate uh, Citroen Dispatch. Uh, this is the 1.6 HDI Enterprise model, Enterprise being their top specification. Uh, and this vehicle is the L1 short wheelbase model. Uh, so the shortest in length that you can get it. Um, <clears throat> great specification van actually this one. Uh, it's one keeper from new to arrive direct off lease. Uh, covered I think it's just short of 63,000 miles. I'll verify that for you in a second when we have a look inside. Uh, as I say good specification with a few additional extras fitted to it. Uh, so these vans are twin side loading doors uh, which I think we all agree is fairly handy on a work van. Um, this one has the additional uh, roof rack uh, and then inside you've got a few extras like factory sat nav uh, and a few other fancy bits, multifunction steering wheel etc. So as I say, um, <clears throat> warranted miles on it. Condition wise, um, actually really nice condition. A uh, couple of minor things I'll point out to you as we go around um, but nothing major uh, at all. Uh, it looks as though it's had a relatively easy life um, so, starting condition wise, you will start up there on the roof, uh, obviously you've got your roof rack fitted there. Uh, roof looks pretty good condition from what I can see, although you may have a better video, a view on the video than I have. Coming down onto your windscreen, <coughs> the windscreen doesn't, I know it's just started raining so it's a slight pain in the arse but you have to apologise. But um, Windscreen, uh, no major stone chips that I can see. And you may get the odd minor one, but nothing that is going to cause any grief when it comes to MOT time. Now, although literally we've just finished cleaning this half an hour ago, um, there's some uh, stuff dropped off the trees. So what you might see is stone chips, etc. is actually uh, petals, etc. off the trees. But your bonnet, the reason I mention that is because they want to sit on the bonnet. The bonnet is in good condition uh, with no major stone chipping uh, anything that may be on there will be very minor touch-up stuff, but to be honest, it looks pretty clean to me. Coming down to your front bumper. Well, let's start. Passenger front headlamp unit is all good, nice and secure. Your front bumper corner showing no major scuffing in good condition. Coming around to the front of the front bumper. Again, all pretty good. They're not really a van that's known for chipping up at all these things. They're pretty pretty good to be fair. Uh, driver's side front bumper corner is all good with no major scuffing there at all. Driver's side headlamp unit is good. Coming around to your driver's side front wing, uh, cosmetically nothing to point out to you from that point of view. Driver's side steel wheel, uh, elements of corrosion on your steel wheel, it has a Hankook tyre fitted to it. The tyre itself has plenty of tyre tread depth left on there. Although as part of our PDI process, you will get exactly what your tyre tread depths are. Anything below three millimetres, we will replace for you. Uh, driver's side door, all good. Uh, we have minor scratching behind the door handle, but we will get some uh, T-cut onto that and should get rid of all of that for you. Door glass, driver's side's all good. Your door mirror is all good. The mirror casing itself, all good. Side loading door, driver's side, upper part of it's all very good. Lower part all good as well. I think we have a, oh no, that is something on the paintwork that I think I will probably be able to get off. It's coming off with my nail, so whatever that is, we will get off for you. Behind your door handle again, could do with a little bit of a teacup, but not in bad condition. Driver's side, upper rear quarter, all good. And then driver's side, lower quarter, all good as well. If I get down low, you can see that the driver's side sill and the protection strips going down the side of the vehicle are in good condition with no major marks or damage. Driver's side rear steel wheel has elements of corrosion on that as well. Uh, and again, you have a hand-cut tire on that one. The tire on that is okay. And steel wheels are, um, steel wheels on every type of vehicle we have are uh, known for corrosion. Uh, we will refurb these wheels, so we will sand them down and repaint them. Uh, however, they do tend to corrode up. Obviously, manufacturers seem to make them out of crappy steel nowadays. 
Um, let's be frank, if you want an alloy wheel upgrade, we can, we do uh, sell alloy wheels. So if you want a nice set of alloy wheels on it, we can fit those for you as well. Um, now, let's look down the driver's side of the vehicle, although it is starting to rain. Hopefully, if I go down, get low, you can see that there are no major dents or dings on the side of this vehicle. It's all pretty good. Driver's side rear bumper corner is all good with no scuffing. Rear door hinges on all of the dispatches. Um, well, dispatches or their Peugeot, uh, Toyota, and now Vauxhall equivalents are all known for the hinges that stick out because they stick out slightly, as you can see on the body. They tend to get all of the stuff off the roads on them, including the salt, so they can get a little bit, look a little bit naff like that, I'm afraid. Um, drive side rear light units in good order. Uh, this vehicle being the Enterprise model means that you get reverse parking sensors with it. Rear bumper on the vehicle is in pretty good condition. A few minor marks, but nothing major. And obviously this van here is a rear barn door model. So obviously splits in the middle. Your rear door handle and locks all in good order. If I open this up now, you can see it's got some fairly handy racking fitted to it so nice aluminium racking set up and then the ply lining that that is fitted to is actually in lovely condition as well silly little things like if you look around the paintwork on the inside of the vans although this one ha may have the odd minor mark it's pretty unabused to be fair and the same can be said for the inside of the rear doors another way of seeing how much hard work a van has done and again a few minor marks but nothing major so there's your roof rack got a bit of ladder rolling ladder bars on there for you as well passenger rear light units all good passenger side rear bumper corners all good again small elements of corrosion on those hinges there it is only the outer bits um, and then again on the steel wheel passenger side rear corrosion on the steel wheel the tire on this side although it's got uh, a bit of uh, wear on the side wall from rubbing up against pavements it's pretty good i think and then fuel filler is this side with your locking fuel flap your lower bumper quarter sorry your lower rear quarter is all good and the upper rear quarter is good the sliding door on the passenger side is all good need some t-cut behind the door handles we'll get that sorted out on it for you the sill on the passenger side again all in good order as is the protected rubber strip and the passenger side door again pretty good no major damage on there and opening up the sliding door on this side you look at your entry sills and plastics they're in good order as well ply lining in the back of it's good and we have your little hatch here which gives you additional load length underneath your passenger seats bulkhead itself doesn't really look as though it's had much abuse does it all the ceiling inside opening up your passenger door we have your add blue filler here but your door sills both painted and the plastic entry steps are in great condition, as are your door cards on the passenger side door as well. No signs of any abuse, nice and clean inside, as is your flooring on your passenger side. Dashboard, again, clean and tidy. No signs of any work boots being on the top of there. Headlining inside the vehicle, all good. And then passenger seats are clean and tidy as well passenger side front wings all good and then again steel wheel passenger side signs of corrosion on the steel wheel itself the tire is another handcuff with plenty of tire tread depth on it so as it's raining i'm going to give you 
look on the inside on the driver's side. So passenger driver's side door card, again, clean, tidy, with no signs of any excessive abuse. We have electric windows and electric mirror switches here. Your entry seals and steps on this side are in good order. The side of your seat shows no signs of any excessive abuse. A little bit of wear on the back of your seat cover here. It's just gone a little bit fuzzy. It's not about to wear through or anything. Driver's seat though is pretty damn good. And then dashboard driver's side, clean, tidy, no signs of any abuse. And let's just get in in a second. Flooring driver's side is pretty good. Excuse my boots and legs being in the way. Right. Um, okay, so we fire it up. Uh, wait for the glow plug lights to go out. Fire it up. Uh, so it's got slightly upgraded dash, etc. on it, this thing. So you've got your additional driver information system on here, which is giving you your... Uh, so this, at this present moment in time, is telling you that on an average speed of 15 miles an hour, this vehicle has been averaging 35.2 miles per gallon over 6,215 miles. Obviously, these things you can reset. Uh, 546 miles worth of fuel in it at the moment. Um, and I think if we go through, got this, yeah, so using your configuration button here, you can change what you have on showing on that center part of your dashboard. So we've just switched it over to speedometer. Um, and then you can switch it back through to the range in the tank, your average computer side of things etc etc uh, it will once it's got a map um, something in the sat nav it'll give you sat nav directions on here as well um, it has which I think is on at the moment because it comes up there yeah so cruise control cruise control and speed limiter are on the left hand stalk here you've got a limiter uh, you've got a limiter and you've got a cruise control all um, worked through this stalk here Stalk above it is for your lights, once for side lights, twice for main lights, uh, which gives you your light on button on here. And then if we go forward, or forward for rear fog lights. Uh, oh, of course, it's only got rear fog lights on it, this one. So twist the inner part and it'll turn on your fog lights. We'll turn those back off, turn your lights back off. Wipers are on your right hand stalk over here. Obviously you can adjust your intermittent, um, the speed of your intermittent wiper. Um, no, you can't, no, sorry, you can't adjust the speed of your intermittent wiper. You have intermittent wiper, wiper, and then obviously fast speed as well. All working, all good. Button on the end here, runs you through your computer system on here as well. And I say this one has got a multifunction steering wheel, which is extra, uh, it doesn't come standard on an Enterprise. Uh, and on this side, it gives you, looks like some kind of voice activation. Uh, your source, uh, your, telef your list for on here. So this one controls these buttons here, control your stereo over here. And then um, uh, this button here also controls stuff on here as well. Um, and then on here is your main touchscreen stereo system. Uh, incorporates a Bluetooth telephone and Bluetooth music system button here will run you through any diagnostics on the car so if you hit that diagnostic here it will then tell you if there's any issues with the vehicle of which there are none you can turn your parking sensors off should you wish to I'm not convinced why you'd want to do that headlights you can change settings to do with safety and stuff on here as well so it does come up on your dash your recommended um, speed uh, which is coming off from your sat nav system it's got driver attention warning on it as well. Button here, you've got a DAB FM AM stereo on it. This button here is for your satellite navigation system. Uh, so it's got factory sat nav on it. Settings button up here, you can change various profiles. Menu button here, so showing up connected apps here at the moment. I believe, but don't take my word for it. If you plug in your telephone lead to this USB port here, I believe it'll give you Apple CarPlay, Mirrorlink or Android Auto. Um, don't 100% quote me on that. I always thought it was 100% correct, but don't quote me on that. 
network so i think it's got some kind of in van wi-fi going on here which i think you would probably need to get set up somehow um, obviously bluetooth telephone connections etc etc um, access yeah it's worth it you've got to play around and, and yeah, even i don't know what the wi-fi element of this is so hit the telephone button though and then you can connect your telephone up to give you bluetooth phone and music all important air conditioning uh, and then we have rear locking uh, sorry locking for the whole vehicle locking for the rear of the vehicle hazard warning lights electronic stability program you have a 12 volt power and a usb power here as well um, and hopefully you can see in between the seats there's no old mcdonald's or in there or anything like that it is a clean tidy van um, nice specification, obviously you've got the additional roof rack, you've got the additional rear racking, um, which is all very handy and costs a few quid if you want to add it. So one keeper from new, 62,000 miles, warranted miles from lease, with a service history with it. It will go through our workshops before it goes out where it will have a fresh MOT. Any servicing that is needed will be carried out on it. A 110 point PDI check and an electronic health check as well. There will be 60 to 70 photos going up on our website very shortly. Our website is vanstoday.com. We are Vans Today Worcester based in the centre of the country. And you can contact us on 01905 672 080 or email me sales at vanstoday.com. I think that's about it. If you can think of anything else, feel free to get in touch. Thanks for looking at the video. It might not be the most exciting 16 minutes of your life, but hopefully if you're interested in the van, it's giving you a good idea of what it is that you're buying. Uh, nationwide delivery available, and obviously give us a bell for the latest COVID procedures. Cheers.